All right, today's topic is writing an exponential function. So you recall that our equation for an exponential function is y equals a b to the x power, okay? Uh, so, so this is our general equation where b is our ratio, okay? So we're going to try to solve using a table uh, and write a function in this, using this equation, okay? So I'm going to rewrite this over here. Y equals a b to the x power. Okay, and let's give it. Let's give a table of data here. So we have x and y. All right, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do six, twelve, twenty-four, and forty-eight. Okay, so we're trying to take write the equation for this data using that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, we need to find our ratio, okay, our pattern, right? So, so our x's, we see all goes up one, two, three, four. So that's good, right? Now, if we look at our y's, we need to figure out what the ratio is, uh, what the pattern is, okay? So, if we have my equation, y equals a b to the x power, right? What's my ratio, okay? What's my b? My ratio, so from six to twelve, right? So six times what number equals twelve, right? Well, that would be times Two, right? Um, and then same thing, 12, 24 times two, 24 to 48 times two, right? So my ratio here is is two, okay? So every time it, it we multiply, it's multiplied by two, okay? Six times two is 12, times two is 24, times two is 48, so on and so forth, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna plug my two in uh, for my b, okay? So b b equals the ratio, all right? So if my b is a ratio, I'm gonna, uh, and, I, and I have my y and my x, I need to solve for my a as such. So what's what we're going to do, okay? So I'm going to pick my x and y from the chart here, okay? So I'm going to pick my, my top one. My y, I'm going to come at 6. So for y, I'm going to put 6, okay? Here, I'm going to move this down here to kind of show you a little better. A, B, X, okay? So my Y, I'm using 6, okay? Equals my A, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to solve for, okay? My B is my ratio. My ratio we found out was 2. So in parentheses, I'm going to write 2, okay? And then my X, I'm going to go back to my, where my Y is. If my Y is 6, my X is 1. So, I'm gonna, so instead of X, I'm going to write 1 right here, okay? So now we need to solve for the A, okay? So... I have to do my parentheses for uh, my exponent parentheses first here, right? So two to the first power. So I know that two to the first power is just two, right? Um, and then I'm going to bring my a. I'm going to reverse the order and put the a behind it. It's it's the same thing. It's okay. Uh, I, it just looks better this way. And then bring down my six. And to get a by itself, my last step is what is divide, right? So divide by two, like that, right? And then my a equals six divided by two, which is three. Okay, so now if I go back to my, my original formula here, I can plug in the A and the B, okay? So I'm going to rewrite this as Y equals, my A is now 3, okay? My B is 2, so in parentheses I'm going to write 2, and then my X will be the X exponent there, and that's how you do it, all right? So, once again, here's my formula, um, y equals abx, I find my ratio from the y's, right, anything that's multiplied by 2, that's my ratio, uh, that's, what the, that's what the b equals is the ratio, I plug in, I take a 6, I plug in for the y, my 1, I plug in for the x, and then my b, I plug 2 in for the b, I solve for the a, 2 to the first power is 2, divide by 2 on both sides, 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's what my A equals. I plug everything back in to my A and my B, 3 and 2. My X and Y, I leave it X and Y because I can use this formula to, to solve any of the numbers on here. Okay. All right. So that's how we do that one. Let's try, let's try a different one. X, Y. Let's do one, two, three, four. And when you do that, that part over here, you can use any of the X and Y's 
Uh, I just use the first one because one is an easy number to work with. 9, 27, 81, 2, 43, okay? So once again, um, the first thing I gotta do is find my ratio, okay? So my ratio, so from 9 to 27, what? 9 times what number gives me 27? Well, 9 times, another 9 times 3, right, is 27, right? So 9 times 3 equals 27, right? And then 27 times to 81 times 3 times 3, right? So everything gets multiplied by 3, right? So my ratio here is 3, okay? So we don't need a times 3 here. Uh, um, we just know that, remember we do this, it's always going to be times. So 3 is my, my ratio, okay? So my B is 3, right? So B, so I'm going to look over here, uh, B equals the ratio. So don't forget, okay? So my ratio is, is 3, that's what my B equals. Now I'm going to write my formula down, Y equals A, B, X, okay? Now I'm going to substitute. So my Y, I'm going to put the first row again, 1 and 9, okay? My Y, I'm going to put as 9 equals my A, I don't know what that is yet, that's what we're solving for. My B, I found, right, B is a ratio, my B is 3, so 3, I'm going to put that parentheses so I know, and then my X, going back up here, is 1. Now I solve for the A. Once again, I do 3 to the first power, that gives me 3. I switch sides just because, or I switch the order just to make it look nicer. I bring down my 9. And then to get A by itself, I divide each side by 3, right? And 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Look at that, number 3, okay? So now when I plug it back in to, to my formula here, I found my A. My A is 3. My B is 3. So now when I write this formula, I'm going to do Y equals my A, 3, my B, 3, and then my X ratio, just like that. Let's do one more to show you a decay. These are all growth models, right? Because it's going up. Let me show you a decay, uh, decay model. And let's start with 0, 1, 2, 3, a little something different. And let's go 10, 5, 2.5, 1.25. Okay. So, first thing, right, got to find the ratio. So the ratio, I go from 10 to 5 to 2.5 to 1.25, right? So what's happening uh, each time? Now we're going down, right? It's a decay model, so we're going down. So 10 to 5, what happens, right? Well, I know that 10, 10 divided by 5 gives me 2, right? And, and vice versa, 10 divided by 2. 2 equals 5, right? So I know that 10 divided by 2 equals 5, right? So all this is divide by 2, right? But I can't write divide. So instead of, instead of writing divide by 2, I'm going to write times 1 half, okay? Because, uh, and I'm going to start this down, right? So you can, you can see divide by 2 equals the same thing as uh, multiply by one half. So if you want to write that down, it's the same thing. And that's that's good to know for this cause here because you can't write divide by two here. It has to be multiplied by a half, okay? But divide by two is the same thing. Same thing as multiply by one, one half. So if you get a divide by two one, you write multiply by one half, right? Instead. Good morning, Mr. Ryman. Please call your sentence five eight two zero four. Mr. Ryman, please call your sentence five eight two zero four. So for each one, it's multiplied by one half, right? We're going down. Basically, you can see, right, it's being cut in half each time, right? Uh, five is half of ten, right? Two and a half is half of five, right? So on and so forth, okay? So, I found my ratio. My ratio equals one half, okay? Now, don't be alarmed by the fractions. It's okay. It's all going to be okay. Now I have my formula. Y equals a b to the x power, okay? I'm going to substitute. I'm going to put the top one again, 0 and 10 this time. So I have my y is 10 
equals my A is what I'm trying to solve for. My B is my ratio, so one half. I'm put that in parentheses. I'm gonna write that better. I'm gonna write that better. One half. There we go. Uh, and then my X, right? My 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 X is gonna be zero. Okay. So to solve, I do one half to the zero power, and I know one half to the zero power is one, right? Uh, Anything with a zero power, it's always going to be one. I switch my order around, I bring my 10 down, and I can divide by one just to show you the finish problem out right. I know that A equals 10 divided by one, which is, is 10. Okay, so my A is 10. Now, I go back up here, I plug it in, I have Y equals my A is 10, my B is one half, right, and then my X exponent here, okay? So that's writing exponential functions.